so she says, in a recent conversation with a teacher, he said that if we raise our consciousness enough, the wobble or pole shift can be managed in half a second. Many people with all different beliefs are working to raise their consciousness. Yes, <laughs> good. That's the catch though. I know quite a few uh, spiritual people who are completely on board with the current agendas. Ah, and they believe they are helping raise our consciousness. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't Creator recognize this as good efforts that count? Oh dear. Um, okay, so first I would say um, we are the creators. So there's nobody up there you know, keeping score, doing the bookkeeping, um, managing our spiritual accounts. It's us. We're here. We have to deal with what's real in the real world. And in the real world, we are not the only creators. And once you live on a farm, you know that all the way through you. You watch every critter and every force, whether it's water, wind, Sun, create in its own way. And so we're not the only creators. And what is it about us that says we have to stop the pull shift as opposed to we have to be ready for the pull shift. When I was talking with the sun and said, could you please, please not do that? And it said, I said, what can we do? And the answer was prepare. And I was like, well, crap. So, you know, I went back in the house and thought, okay, I, I, I'm not sure how to prepare, but I guess we'll, we'll try it. We'll think about that. So, um, I don't know that we want to, um, or would ever be able to change the planetary orientation. There's too many factors that are involved in that pole shift that we know nothing about. We're ignorant scientifically, 99% of us. So we would not know what we are messing with. And that would be tragic if we interfered in the Earth's attempt to renew herself. So um, from my point of view, you know, the wobble, the pole shift, is not going to be managed in a half a second. That's like a new age Santa Claus story. Um, and so I'm sorry for all those who believe that. Um, that just doesn't fit anything that I know about the spiritual world, the scientific world, the solar system, or the, the, the way things work in the real world. Um, she says, I know quite a few spiritual people who are completely on board with current agendas. So I'll say something that I said earlier today when I was talking with Brock on a different program. What I see is that the um, there's a split happening. All of those people who are so on board with the current agenda and think that they, you know, when you listen to them, it's hard to discount what they're saying. They're so sure. They're so confident. They're seeing the world the way they want to see it. And they think we are nuts. And then you talk with somebody who is very much on the Patriot side, we'll call it. Um, and they are looking at all this stuff that the other side says is nothing but conspiracy theory. And they're looking at all those people saying, when are they going to wake up? And they're not. They think they are awake. And so at some point, what I think we're going to see is that there's some kind of clash or some kind of tragedy or some kind of natural event. And we're going to lose a lot of people. And we're going to say, oh, wow, all those people that didn't, that didn't wake up, where'd they go? Well, they're gone. And all those people that think, you know, they wake up and they're going to say, all, all those conspiracy theory people, where'd they go? You know, well, thank God they're not preaching all that stuff anymore. And, and it's because we will have moved into two different frequency zones. And it's as distinct as changing the channel on your TV. You just move one or two, you know, numbers over 
and you don't know what's happening on that channel that you were just looking at anymore and that's where we're headed it sounds fantastic I don't know if that is actually going to happen or not it looks like that is what's happening and so I'm watching that and thinking well this is going to be very interesting how this all plays out so here we are if you haven't read the birth books b-e-a-r-t-h by um i forget what his name is <laughs> um he's a physicist uh you yeah. get a uh, do you have it daphne i i know which one it is i'll put it in the links but i can't remember his name it's on the tip of my tongue but i'll put it in the links okay I have it here somewhere. I finally have all my books back. <laughs> so um, that, that series of books very clearly describes the kind of process that I think we are going through and going to go through over the next decade. So this is not a quick thing. And a lot of people may give up and say, I'm out of here. Um, a lot of people may say, I can't do this. This is too much work, or I'm too afraid, or I'm too alone, or I'm too this or too that. Um, and they'll give up. But there's a lot of people that are here for the transition to that new world, and they are hanging on. And so we'll see how it works out. Okay? So, uh, Jennifer, um, thanks for that question. I think it's really important that we... Um, that we be realistic. So, um, okay. The there author's name is, is Brooke, Brooks Agnew. Sorry, I thought you were done. That's Brooks it. Agnew. That's okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, birth, there's book three, one, two, and three. It's a three volume set. Um, it's well worth reading because it is an education in what is happening right now. So, and, you know, when he put that together, you know, I talked to him. Uh, I said, you know, how did you know? What did you see? And he said, I see the same thing you see. And I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. Um, we're coming to the fork in the road. So, um, yeah. Okay, just um, keep going with whatever you're doing with your consciousness, regardless of which side you are on. I don't care and I don't think uh, the rest of the population does either, but you will care. And that's all that matters.